Good morning. Today is Wednesday, November the eighth. The time right now is eight. Uh, sorry, nine thirty-one in the morning, and we can see overnight equity markets in the states continues to edge higher. Uh, although the bulk of the rally was actually done last week, uh, the entire last week was actually a very robust week uh, for U.S. equity. Uh, this is of course on the back, uh, on of the idea that the U.S. Federal Reserve is done hiking, and this is seen to be good for equity markets as a whole. So we can overnight, we can see Dow Jones has a marginal high at 34,206.98. And uh, although it's marginal, but it does keep the momentum going, there's a good chance because we have also seen a break of a swing high here at 34,147.63. So going forward, we should be buying dips as we go along. Uh, so if we do get a dip, Ideally, somewhere between, uh, let's say, 33,733 to 33,464. I think that will be a great area to look for buying opportunity basis, the cash index. And over in the S&P 500, we also see the challenge of a swing high, although it failed to take out the swing high that we saw here on October the 17th at 4,393.57. And last night high is 4,386.26. So it did not quite... Um, uh, broke uh, this swing high here. So if it does, I think it should at some point in time, then any pullback should be seen to be a buying opportunity. And assuming the high here so far for the time being is 4,386.26, the area to do so will be in a 23.6% or even the 38.2% retracement levels. Currently is at uh, 4,309 and uh, 4,270. So if the market go even higher, do just do the uh, slight uh, um, call it adjustment to get into this bracket of prices based on the 23.6 and 38.2 retracement levels. Over in the NASDAQ 100, you can see NASDAQ 100 uh, actually did manage to take out the swing high here at 15,333.98, which was last seen October 23rd. So last night high of 15,335.44 has a marginal breach of this uh, swing high here. So technically that means it has broken character. So there's a very good chance that the, this rally that we see may actually extend a bit higher. So any kind of pullback uh, currently at uh, 15,034 to 14,950 levels could be seen as a buying opportunity. So do look out for those as they come along. And over in Asia, we can see that they are in the Nikkei 225, Nikkei has actually pulled back uh, quite sharply this morning and this will give rise to the idea because it, it also have taken out a swing high here uh, which was last seen on October 23rd very similar to the NASDAQ 100 so you can see the previous swing high was 32,660 basis the futures contract overnight high we have 110 points higher at 32,770 and the market pulled back from there so right now the market has hit a 23.6 percent retracement I'm thinking now instead of just a simple pullback we could see a three-way pullback ideally targeting somewhere around 31,860 which is the 82 point uh 80, 38.2 retracement so there's a confluence of prices here so do look out for the possibility as well in the Hang Seng index uh Hang Seng is currently coming off a little bit from a high of 18,072 that we saw uh, back on last Friday, and uh, this is creating a condition because we have seen uh, quite a robust rally from here. And if the price do not overlap here at this current price, uh, at this price of 17590 there's a possibility that we may see a continuous uh, a rally all the way to challenge the 18200 perhaps even 18400 going forward. So this is a pullback that seems to be seems so far is corrective in nature. We will have to see what happens as the days goes by. And over in the dollar itself, you can see the, do the dollar rebounded uh, from 105.85 to 105.78 overnight. And it looks like it may actually go a bit higher after the market came off uh, last week. Okay, And so we can see the high here that I do expect to see some, some kind of resistance is 105.93 to 106.30. Over the euro, euro dollar, euro dollar has pulled back on the back of a rebounding dollar. So we can see the high traded last week was 107.56 and the low last night was 106.64. So this is possibly uh, going to extend lower into the 106.10 to 106.34 levels. Okay, And in the sterling, 
Sterling also came out very sharply from the high of 124.28 and is currently trading at 122.83 with a low at uh, with an overnight low at 122.62. So this does looks like the market has already pulled at 50%, but I think there is the possibility of an extended decline into the source where the market has this extended rally. So I think this is where the market is hiding. Uh, the buyers are hiding within this area of 121.86 to 122.14. And over in the Aussie, Aussie did also pull back from the high of 0 0.6523 all the way to the overnight low of 64.04, uh, uh, 0 0.6404. So currently trading at 0.6427, there is a possibility uh, they may uh, actually extend higher because this rally here is actually quite strong. So there is a possibility we may be done with the rebound, and, uh, with the pullback and the market may be gaining uh, momentum to the upside as the days goes by. And over in dollar yen, like I said, dollar yen is creating a unique of trading opportunity. The structure of this uh, dollar yen recent movements are high of 151.71 to the low of 149.18 or 19 there about. has seen a rebound back to the overnight high of 150.69. This creates the possibility of a three-wave decline. Uh, targeting an area of confluence, which is the 123%. Uh, extension of this move from 151 to 149 to 150 back again. So we can see this is a creating a possible three-way pullback targeting uh, 147.55 levels. And this also is another level in which we see the demand actually uh, uh, came about uh, during the early part of the month, uh, in the early part of October. So there is a possibility of a pullback here. And uh, over in the precious metal, we can see precious metal actually did a very nice three-way pullback to $1,956.70. I think it's getting ready to uh, to search again. So there is the possibility once the market take out the $2,009.56, I think it's going to rally much higher. Uh, is there a target? I think the immediate resistance is likely to come from $2,039 to $2,053. Quite a wide band of prices, but I think it's logical to to take this uh, 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 extended rally all the way much higher beyond the $2,009 that we saw uh, at the initial run. In the silver, silver also hit a pocket of prices. You can see that silver has been trading sideways very much. Uh, and yesterday it dipped down into this bracket of prices between $22 and 36 cents to $22.51 uh, with a low at $22.41. So this is creating a condition for a rebound back to test the $23.39 to $23.64. So this is actually a good buying opportunity in my opinion. Okay, And over in the crude oil, crude oil continue to extend lower, very, very much lower. And now it's it has already been, uh, done its equality move from a high of almost $95. And uh, this is very, very neat because the market right now low is at $64.47, no, $76.47, uh, which is not that far away from the equality target of $76.31. From here onwards, all the way down to $72.64, this entire area here is a buying opportunity. So look for level. I'm going to look for levels to actually anchor a long position. I do not believe that this decline uh, marks the end of the rally in energy prices, considering the Middle East crisis has not been settled. And over in Bitcoin, we can see Bitcoin actually challenge uh, mount a challenge at the uh, uh, recent high at just under 36,000 with a high last night at 35,999. 916 there about but the first attempt failed but i think the market is still coming off a little bit i think there is a good chance the market will find a base around here you can see that the market has been doing basically sideways movements pretty much and that level is about thirty three thousand two hundred and sixty three dollars to even maybe even here so anywhere between 33,400 downwards to all the way to 33,260. I think that's a great buying area. So because I think the structure in the Bitcoin suggests that there's more to come. And in fact, I'm looking at somewhere around 38,000 to almost 40,000 for the next run. So do watch out for this potential setup. If you are keen, you can also take a look. So in the meantime, that's all I have for you. And I, take, and I wish you guys have a great day ahead. I'll see you tomorrow with another update. Bye-bye.